First of all, is the answer yes? The answer is absolutely <laughs> yes, Joe, and I am ready to work. I am ready to do this with you, for you. I, I just, I'm just deeply honored, and I'm very excited. After a video call, presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden announced he picked California Senator Kamala Harris as his running mate. The decision is historic. Harris is the first black woman on a major party presidential ticket. We've told you how recent polls show there could be a tight race between Biden and Trump here in Texas. And with the possibility of Texas now being a swing state, we wondered what this latest change could do to sway voters. Our Tom Miller spoke with the Texas Politics Project for insight. Poll after poll shows the race in Texas is as tight as it's been in four decades. Could that have played any role in the Biden campaign picking Kamala Harris? Certainly the things that Kamala Harris brings to the table uh, are useful in Texas and useful in a lot of the battleground states. If there's anyone who knows, it's James Henson, director of the Texas Politics Project, which promotes civic engagement and understanding. They also conduct regular polling. Specifically in Texas, what does Harris bring to the table that helps out Biden? And so um, with the, the rapidly growing um, Asian American population in Houston, she's going to have a narrative that speaks to people uh, and to the African and large African American populations, particularly in Houston and, and Dallas. However, Harris isn't without her critics. Her critics will try to see doubt about her past as a prosecutor and then as attorney general in an environment where people are, you know, really thinking seriously about how we have proceeded on criminal justice issues in the past. The big question though, does this actually earn the ticket more votes? It's not necessarily decisive, but every little bit is gonna help in a, in, a, in a state that's as closely contested as Texas is now. Tom Miller for State of Texas. Biden and Harris will accept the nomination later this week at the Democratic National Convention. Our politics reporter John Ingle shows us the personal ties between a Texas lawmaker and Harris and why some Texas Democrats feel they've been snubbed by the National Party. I was texting Kamala like three weeks ago. Dallas Representative Rafael Anchia became friends with Kamala Harris during a fellowship 12 years ago. She's a kind-hearted person. She is incredibly thoughtful about policy and, and people just love her. They connect with her. And, and I could not be more excited about the pick. During her presidential campaign, Harris was criticized for her toughness as a prosecutor. Congressman Lloyd Doggett doesn't think that'll be an issue. We have to have that balance to seek justice for all so that everyone feels they're getting a just shake, uh, but to see that our laws are enforced. Texas Democrats think the state is now a battleground, but they won't get a boost from the party's biggest stage. I don't understand that, and that needs to be fixed. There aren't any Texans listed as featured speakers at the Democratic National Convention. Somebody messed up, somebody dropped the ball, and they need to fix it. Four of the last five polls have Joe Biden ahead of President Trump in Texas, a state that hasn't elected a Democrat for president since 1976. I don't know if it's fair to call it a battleground state, uh, but I think that the eternal optimism of the Democrats is closer to fruition this cycle than it's ever been. For State of Texas, I'm John Engel. The Democratic National Convention takes place Monday through Thursday, culminating in Biden's acceptance of the party's nomination for president. The Republican National Convention takes place the following week. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle, and we'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics. Have a great day.